finished the season 10 and 14, 4 and 4 in the Diamond Division. Uh, we started our season 0 and 4, but we came right back. We were playing a lot of Group 3, Group 4 schools. We played eight Group 3 and Group 4 schools this year, eight games. So we kind of loaded our schedule and we played a lot of good Group 1 and Group 2 schools. But we did win four in a row to get back to 500. Uh, we had some great wins throughout the year. Uh, a huge win on senior night, which is always a positive thing there. Uh, good win against ACIT. Uh, we had a nice best win of the season against Paulsboro, which is a very good team. We 10 run ruled them. Uh, we creeped up the 500, kind of going back and forth throughout the season. We kind of fell back at a couple losses. We were very up and down. Uh, but we had a great one over Overbrook down two. We we're in the last inning, scored two runs, went in extra innings, put up six runs to beat Overbrook. So I was very impressed with the way these guys grew throughout the season and how much better they got. Uh, we had a lot of young guys in our program. We had 30 people. We had 26 freshmen and sophomores. We had one junior and we had three seniors. So it was pretty cool to see uh, us kind of develop where we had a young team from the start, uh, losing one of our top players and one person moving, one of our top players or starters, for losing Jackson, who is not only an all, he was an all South Jersey player, but probably would have been an all state player this year. So losing him and losing a captain wasn't hard, but a lot of guys stepped up this season and we saw progression and got better. So we returned 27 guys next year. So it's a really good positive and they get double digit wins. I think it's a huge accomplishment for this team. We made it to the playoffs first round against Glassboro. Uh, they just out hit us. We, we couldn't hit that day, but it was a good game. We split with them in the regular season, so I was really proud of the guys and the way they played this season. So it was a roller coaster ride, some ups and downs, but I really look forward to next year because we will be even better next year, I can guarantee you that. Uh, what I want these guys to do, I'm going to honor some of our Tri County All Stars, and when I say your name, you guys stand up and stay standing. You understand those directions. Okay, we'll see how this goes. Uh, we had first team outfielder, Evan Sieber. First team pitcher, and he would have been first team infielder if it was allowed to happen. And I guess it's a thing now, I didn't realize that he did record his 100th strikeout. I think, what do you do, like 160 or something? I don't know what it is now, but he'll probably have the school record for strikeouts by the time he graduates. But first team pitcher, Luke Pekrosky. <laughs> and we have our second team outfielder. And this guy is really impressive. In three seasons, had 94 hits, he came six short. But these guys got gypped a year. If he had another year, he would have crushed that anyway. So, which is really, really impressive. But we got first or second team outfielder Quinn Cardona. <laughs> Thank you, guys. We're gonna have a seat. Uh, then what we're gonna do here? We have two awards here: our green and gold, our coaches award. Uh, the one green and gold award we're gonna give that one of our seniors is not here for that. Uh, so what we're going to give out now is a coach's award. Uh, this guy is someone that I kind of, he's the only one that's been through the whole process because we're such a young team. Uh, he was on part of the team. He went to the South Jersey Finals. He was huge last year. He had 46 hits in one season, which is extremely impressive. But this is someone that we could rely on all the time. Like, I'm like, I would grab him and go, yo, go talk to who, I would probably, probably Luke, because I always told him to get Luke, because you know what, I want Luke's going. <laughs> now, whoever it was, he was a guy we could rely on. He was an extension of the coaching staff. He was someone that was a captain and someone we could always rely on. And I know I'll miss that a lot next year, not only what he did on the field, but what he brings to the program all outside of it. Our coach's award goes to Quinn Cardona. Like I was saying, we had three seniors. The two guys who couldn't make it tonight are the two seniors were Kevin Merritt and Garrett McCann. Those guys have helped our program for the past couple of years. Uh, Quinn is the only guy that's been here on the varsity level for three years. But like I said, he's gonna be a huge a hole to fill, but luckily he's someone that's helped us kind of develop these younger guys to get better and hopefully can fill the shoes that he's leaving behind. But it's definitely gonna miss not having him. And our last senior, the guy that we miss the most, Quinn Jackson, guys, stand up for me, please. Quinn, you can stand up. <laughs> uh, 
Jackson's the guy that it was a huge hole losing him this year. Uh, like I said before, he was an all South Jersey player, all first team, Diamond Division, and I guarantee you he'd been an all state player this year too. But not only what we lost with the production on the field, but someone that who was a captain that kind of kept things going in the infield. We had a whole bunch of freshmen and sophomores this year. And sometimes that wasn't good. Uh, so <laughs> not having him in there to kind of police things and control things, it hurt. Not having him on the field and not having him in the dugout, it was a huge loss for us this year. But uh, the exciting thing is he's getting healthy and hopefully he's able to get 100% so he can continue his career at Frostburg State where he can be healthy and have a great time there. So these two seniors, thank you guys, and give them a round of applause. Uh, baseball team, we will not be meeting afterwards, and we'll go over the rest of our awards on Sunday. Um, and that's all I have. Thank you very much.